Thanks, Michael. The Muskogee Creek Nation is being accused of high-level misconduct two weeks before a historic hearing. Two Creek Freedmen descendants say that tribal leaders are illegally working behind the scenes to keep them from becoming citizens. Two News anchor Naomi Kitt was at the news conference this afternoon where the claims were being made. Rhonda Grayson and Jeff Kennedy have been fighting for citizenship into the Muskogee Creek Nation since 2019. Last year, a district judge said they should be granted citizenship based on the Treaty of 1866. But now, their attorney says the nation is actively working against them. I believe that it is unjust. It is a disgrace. That's Rhonda Grayson. She and Jeff Kennedy say the Muskogee Creek Nation National Council appointed two special justices who will only hear their citizenship case. Their attorney, Demario Solomon Simmons, says a whistleblower alerted them to this, and they came across this video breaking down a new law. They say during a special called meeting last month, the National Council enacted that law, allowing them to hand pick new justices to hear the citizenship case. They say two justices were put in place to vote against them. They say these actions are unlawful and unheard of. Two of the original seven justices recused themselves from the case, and they expected only five justices at the hearing on July 26th. They filed a motion asking the Muskogee Nation Supreme Court to rule this new law unconstitutional. We could have never anticipated something like this happening. And we hope the courts will um, quickly decide that this is a side issue. And we hope that the court will not be swayed or intimidated by the actions of the National Council and the principal chief and focus on the law and not focus on the politics that's trying to mandate a decision against the Creek Freedmen. Attorneys for the Muskogee Creek Nation have said since the beginning, Rhonda and Jeff and other freedmen were denied citizenship because they aren't Creek by blood, according to their constitution. But a district judge ruled last year that the Treaty of 1866 granted them citizenship into the tribe. Justice needs to prevail. Both sides will be in the courtroom on July 26th to argue their case in front of the Muskogee Creek Nation Supreme Court. Two News will be in the courtroom and we'll be sure to keep you updated. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Naomi Kitt. To News, Oklahoma. We did reach out to the Muskogee Creek Nation to hear their side. We're still waiting to hear back.